Hey Tom, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Enjoying a bit of time in Morzine? Yeah, one of my favourite places in the world. Enjoying it, being back. So here's going to be your 20 questions. Your path into the world tour has not been the most conventional one um, with the route that you've taken. Has that been something that's important to you? Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, discipline, doing different disciplines is kind of just the way I've done it, yeah, for forever. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's what I continue to do. And I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of become normal for me to just, yeah, ride different bikes and things. So, um, yeah, that, that's, uh, it's kind of important for me to for me to be able to continue doing that and and also yeah to, for the for the rider that I am. Do you enjoy defying people's expectations? I mean, yeah, I think I think to a certain extent people's expectations are often quite high of me. Um, so often I kind of yeah, just meet people's expectations and I've kind of just become accustomed to, yeah, sometimes the best, the best I can do is only meeting expectations and, but yeah, I mean, I don't really mind, I mind that to be honest. Um, but yeah, and then sometimes, yeah, ex exceeding people's expectations is, yeah, nice, nice way to, uh, well, nice, nice to be able to do. If you could choose only one bike to take on an adventure, which would it be? Cyclocross, road or mountain bike? I think for sure mountain bike. You know, being able to go yeah, super far off, well, off the beaten track into the mountains or, you know, wherever. And, uh, yeah, just kind of explore away from where people can normally uh, access. So you race for yourself and for a team. Do you enjoy aspects of each? Yeah, I think it's nice racing for a team. I mean, yeah, racing, racing on the road with all the guys and all the yeah big support team and uh, yeah, there's, 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 that's nice to be able to yeah do go to a race as a team with an objective. Um, but then also, yeah, racing yeah, off-road kind of by myself with just a small team around me and stuff. It's kind of, uh, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy doing that as well. Why did bike racing get under your skin? Where does the passion for it come from? Well, I think, uh, yeah, it's kind of something that I've always done since I was little. I've done a lot of sports, but yeah, cycling was kind of, the uh, the thing that I was best at, if you like, the one that I kind of did the most com competitions in, and uh, yeah, I think it's kind of uh, yeah, it's the, it's the thing that I enjoyed the most. I think I won the most in it, and yeah, I enjoy I enjoy winning, I guess. Do you feel like you can express yourself on the bike? I think for sure it's the, probably the place where I can uh, express myself the most, I think. I think same for any, a lot of sports people, it's where, yeah, you kind of see people's personalities the most. And um, so, yeah, I think for sure it's where, where I can express myself the most. What would you say is your spirit animal? Uh, I don't know, but it'd be pretty cool, like, well, to be like an eagle, flying and seeing everything. So I'm just going to say an eagle. It's a pretty cool animal. Do you have any superstitions or race routines that you always have to do before a race? Um, not that I have to do before a race, but like if I ever talk about crashing or 
anything like that. I would always kind of say that, yeah, I have, I have not crashed before. Um, I've never crashed or I've never broken a bone, but I always put before on the end. And then I like shave my legs two days before, normally, before big races. Um, although I can't really say I haven't broken a bone before now, because now I have, but yeah. Yeah, maybe we should stop talking about breaking bones. Um, no, it's all right, because uh, we put before on the end. <laughs> um, yeah. Where do you call home? Uh, home is now Andorra. What's the best thing about Yorkshire, where you grew up? The best thing was the, yeah, the, the social side of the, of uh, everything, like the amount of riders, um, the, the rides, all the different times and things, that was, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just so many people to ride with and like this, the, yeah. It's just a great kind of community for cycling and also obviously the roads are, roads are great as well. Do you look at cycling as your career or as an adventure? Um, I think, well, it's a bit of both really, isn't it? I mean, for sure it's a career, but it kind of turned in from a hobby into, into a career. Um, and yeah, I guess now it's, now it's my job, but I'd still be doing it, I guess, if it wasn't my job. How do you weigh up risk versus reward whilst on the bike? Uh, I think I have kind of a new perspective of that since I crashed, because, I mean, not that I took any risk when I did crash the other week, but I think it's always better to be super cautious in training and then when you race, when, well, when I'm racing, yeah, you kind of, I race for the win. And yeah, take, take as many risks as is necessary, but also knowing my own limitations in terms of like cornering or whatever, so yeah. If you could invite three of your heroes to have dinner with you, who would they be? Heroes, I don't know, but I think it'd be pretty cool to have dinner with Barack Obama, David Attenborough, and Greta Thun Thunberg. That would be a good three. Yeah. Are you a beach or a mountain person? Depends on the time of year. If I'm just finished seven months of racing training, then I'd like to go to a nice beach somewhere. But, um, yeah, in training, I like going to the mountains, for sure. If there is any race that you could win, which would it be? Any race I could win? Um, probably either the Tour or the Road World Champs. Do you have a motto that you live by? Um, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you, <laughs> do you see yourself as an independent spirit? Um, an independent spirit, or like a ghost? Or like someone who kind of is like goes out and does their own kind of thing and I, not I, so much like a ghost. I, 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 I certainly not a sheep. Yeah, I mean, I, I for sure well I make my own path as we were talking about earlier but um yeah I think I only do something if I think it's think it's a good idea I guess we'll go for a yes with that one then um okay. what do your style choices say about you uh well I think a lot of the time it shows that I'm an athlete yeah wearing trackies and uh yeah Things like that, but I guess I can also dress up when I need to. We'd all like to leave some sort of legacy. What would you like yours to be? Um, 
you know, I'd like to inspire people to to ride bikes, to be active and to, yeah, I guess, kind of be, live sustainably, I think. That's probably my, what I would like my legacy to be. I mean, I think in terms of inspiring people to ride bikes, I think I've, yeah, with, with cyclocross and I think now mountain bike, I think, yeah, in, in Britain, I think I've, I won't say I have kind of done that, but I mean, I, I like to think that I've, I've played a part in the, yeah, the new kind of, well, I think I've kind of put them more on the map, if you like, I'll say that. Perfect. Well, thank you for that. That was your 20 questions. Um, enjoy more zines. I will. Thank you.